A volcano of giggles erupted from Whiskey's belly. She was spending the evening with her best friend, which was one of her favorite things to do. Mahogany was Whiskey's favorite person, and she didn't think that would ever change. As often was the case, what they were laughing at didn't warrant the extreme mirth, but when they started laughing, it was hard for them to stop. Mahogany clutched Whiskey's arm as she begged, Girl, please stop. If you snot one more time, I'm going to pee on myself. Then stop talking about that man. I can't take another second of it. It's not my fault. I swear to God, when he took his boxers off, it smelled like baloney. So what excuse did you give to leave? Whiskey asked, wiping a tear that had fallen. Excuse? I didn't give him one. He knew what was up. I don't even know why he played with my time like that. As soon as I smelled it, I gagged. I got the hell up out of there expeditiously. That's what you get for thinking because he was fine. The sex would be good. I bet you won't go to a hotel with a stranger from the bar again. Another surge of laughter escaped the pair. I learned my lesson for sure. I could have handled a small little thang thang, but a stinky one? Nah. -uh. Mahogany, shut up. As Whiskey rolled onto her side, her brother Carlos charged into her room. Her first instinct was to yell at him for not only invading her private time with Mahogany, but for doing so without knocking. However, the distraught look on his face caused her to sit up. What's wrong, Los? It's Pops. He collapsed at the meeting. We need to go to the hospital now. Ghost of their laughter followed them out the room as Whiskey and Mahogany hurried behind Carlos. For every question Whiskey asked, Carlos had no answer.